Well, coach, you look remarkably calm for someone who's just lost um, such a game. Kotoko expected to win the home team against nations who are new to the Ghana Premier League. Tell us about the 90 minutes. What was going on through your mind? It's a very, a very difficult game, to be honest, yeah. Uh, a very difficult situation. But I think today, our boys came to the party. They were all well organized, disciplined, and they play according to uh, our system and the structure within the system. It was nice, but it's unfortunate we couldn't get that needed goal. But we played well. And the kudos fans, to the boys. The fans, your fans are saying that luck has deserted Kotoko. It's true. It's true. But I think with more hard work, we'll get our luck back. How do Today, you they were excellent. They were excellent. How do you revive their confidence? Because they play well. Adriana was okay. This yeah. match was okay. But yeah. you're not getting the results. You're not even scoring. You are right. Yeah. You are right. But uh, I think we need some time. It will come. And uh, they should forgive us for such a result. But they should keep supporting us. And we will not disappoint them. It's not over yet. They should keep it. This is the time that we need them most. So they shouldn't neglect us. They should be with us. We will turn things around. In appealing to the fans to keep on supporting you, what's the mood like in the dressing room? Oh, the boys are calm. Yeah, it's time to reflect. And they are reflecting. We will go back also and look at the positives and the negatives build on the positives and work on the negative what are the lessons you've learned in this game ahead of your next match uh, a lot of lessons that we have to be clinical we have to try and finish the game huh. because if you start the if, if you see the beginning we dominated we created some decent chances we have to kill it off so there are a lot of lessons we took from this game and we'll build on that Thank you very much, coach. Thank you. Hello, coach. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. You've Thank come you. here. You said you were not under pressure and you've been able to collect the maximum three points. How are you feeling at this moment? I'm feeling good. Great. That we've won. Coach, what were your instructions in the first half? It looks like you were not interested in the game. Oh, no. In the first half, the first half, I asked them, I will study them and I will control them from the bench. So everybody should relax and listen to instructions from the bench. Where to move, where to charge, and where to reposition themselves. So that's why we were studying them, their game plan. So when we went to the races, when we come back in the second half, I said, this is how we play. So let's not move into the gear. That's exactly what we did in the second half. So basically you went for the win in the second half? Yes. And what about the discipline? Your boys were under a lot of pressure. The fans were agitated. The referee was in a bit of trouble at points in the game. Kotoko players were also agitated. Your players also were a little bit. It was quite an interesting emotional game. Roller coaster. No. Definitely, you, you should express that in such a game. Everybody should express that in such a game. Nobody wants to lose. Nobody wants to compromise. So, it, that's what will happen in a game exactly. Right. What have you learned about your players in this game? Oh, they, are, they were tactically disciplined. Tactically disciplined. They play to the instructions. And no, okay, today we didn't play the normal game we've been playing. But it wasn't bad. So far as we've got the three points, I'm okay with it. Now you're closer to Summer Techs, you're closer to the Apex. I'm sure you've heard people saying that nations are outside favorites. What is your position on that? Oh, it's true. If you go on the way the boys are playing, definitely what they are saying is true. Look where we can. We came from and we, we pushed with such an ascent. So, definitely, we will we, we see what will happen. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Raza, congratulations. Uh, Thank you another very much. man of the match <coughs> performance. What was it like emotionally for you guys there before the match, at halftime, and now? Um, before, before the match, we were determined to win this game. It's not, it's not easy playing against a great team like Asati Kotoko, but we were determined to win. And yes, of course, I'm feeling the vibe now. And at halftime? Yeah, after, 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 after we got the goal, we went inside and our coach 
said we should we should be very decent in like our tactics and everything and yes of course we're able to play and we win you guys huddled in the middle before you had a prayer what were you saying to each other before after the after the game we were saying like we should die a little because right now we are one it up if we can't score again then we have to defend the one and yes of course and then personally it. you had a good game again you know Thank you very much. Um, how do you feel about getting yet another man of the match performance um i'm very 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 happy and i'll keep working harder and obviously after the end of the season we'll see thank you very much Congrats. thank you very much thank you